Just to give you an idea of how fast these thunderstorms were moving, at 6 o'clock you were ready to pull up a shot of Narragansett thinking the storm was on its way there and it had already hit. You had just looked at the shot, the live shot, what, two yeah. minutes before? Yeah, uh, sheets of rain, hail, strong gusting yeah. wind, and now the possibility, and TJ and I are looking at it now, of a, of a tornado touchdown in Narragansett. Uh, is it Old Boston Neck Road? Uh, uh, closed now uh, due to uh, trees that are down. That so something pretty significant. The good news, take a look at Doppler radar. Uh, things have gotten much better. That once tornado warned cell is now offshore. You can see it as it went through. This is about uh, an hour's worth of Doppler radar images as it went through Narragansett and out towards uh, Galilee and then pushing offshore. Now elsewhere, uh, things have quieted down significantly. And for the remainder of the evening hours, I think any additional thunderstorms, the chances are pretty uh, small and uh, we're gathering uh, pictures through social media. We've had reports of some localized street flooding in Fall River and once again, very, very localized. Most areas today, not an ounce of severe weather or damage, but again, those storms that came through some spots, it was pretty significant. Uh, more than likely, I'm sure the National Weather Service is going to head down to Narragansett to analyze the situation to see whether or not a fast tornado uh, went through there about uh, an hour ago. Things will be quieting down this evening. Now, there's really two kinds of wind damage with severe thunderstorms. The more common one is the microburst. It's just a rush of air that comes out of the bottom of the thunderstorm cloud, spreads out in all directions. It can mimic uh, tornado damage, but it doesn't have the twisting wind of a tornado, and that's certainly not hard to uh, mistake in when you see that, though we haven't had any pictures of, uh, of a funnel uh, in the Narragansett area about an hour ago. That's not to say a tornado did not touch down, but again, uh, Weather Service will have to do some analysis. I mean, it is much, much better right now, whereas just an hour ago, some of the worst thunderstorm pictures I've seen in quite a while as far as very heavy rain, strong wind, and uh, some hail. So we'll analyze the situation. The lightning tracker has really diminished and pushed offshore right now. So things getting better and we'll draw our attention now to the heat and the humidity tomorrow, though we will keep the threat tracker high next couple of hours on just the outside small chance of an additional thunderstorm popping up. But for the remainder of the evening hours and overnight low, we'll bounce things up back to the medium category for Wednesday due to heat, humidity and poor air quality, poor air quality alert. For tomorrow, beginning at 11 a.m. through 11 o'clock Wednesday evening, high concentrations of ground level ozone. Live pictures now from Providence with the breaks of sunshine coming through the cloud cover after hitting 89 degrees today. It cooled off quite a bit in the city as a downpour came through. It's now cooled off at 78. Humidity remains on the high side. Oakland Beach and Warwick, the weather is fine. No severe weather at all in the partly sunny skies. And here in Providence with a, a mix of clouds and sunshine, uh, things are looking okay. As the system that gave us the, uh, the some of the scattered storms is now pulling offshore. Draw our attention now to the heat. Overnight tonight, very warm and muggy in the 70s. Tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., it's almost 80 degrees. And look at this warm up between 90 and 95 inland. 80s at the coastline. Throw in the humidity and the feel like or the heat index tomorrow will be running in the upper 90s. So probably one of the hottest stretches so far the summer season. Slight chance of an additional thunderstorm, but most of the activity is long gone. Tomorrow morning, rapid warm up 11 a.m. It's already close to 90 and we're well into the 90s with high humidity tomorrow. Despite the heat and the humidity tomorrow, the thunderstorm risk is actually lower. Seven day future cast hot tomorrow, hot on Thursday. Any thunder probably Thursday night and not Thursday day. Drier, lower humidity on Friday and the weekend, but remaining uh, very warm to borderline hot with daytime highs in the upper 80s and nighttime temperatures in the 60s and 70s. So good news, the threat of any additional severe weather has pretty much come down. Now we kind of do the uh, the post work here. We go down to Narragansett, uh, analyze the damage to see whether or not it was a tornado. All right, Tony, thank you. And coming up new